as Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about how lower back pain happens in general. So, lower back pain can happen for many reasons to people. Um, it could happen due to a muscular imbalance, due to being hit in the back directly. It could be due to a fall. It could be due to bad posture. So many different things can cause lower back pain. But the overall thing that I look at when I see people with lower back pain is that it seems to be an unawareness of how to move. People aren't aware of how they are moving. And this can re-injure your back and cause a back injury in the first place. For example, my friend here, Billy, his finger's all messed up. Let's say he got into a bar fight the other night. He punched his uh, skeleton friend right in the face. His finger hurts. He's not going to go into motions with his finger. That's going to re-injure it. He's going to back off and allow his finger to heal. But with lower back pain, for some reason, we don't do that. We keep going into those same movement patterns that keep injuring our back. We're not aware for some reason. And... Although we're not supposed to really move from our lower back, many of us do. We move too much from our lower back. Like when you bend forward, you're really supposed to bend forward at your hips. Many of us, we bend forward at our lower back. That's why they say, when you deadlift, keep your back straight. Don't arch your back forward. When you arch your back forward or backward, your muscles and ligaments are in a weakened position. More pressure is placed on your discs, your spine. So you're more vulnerable to getting injured. So if you're not aware of how you're moving, you could be putting yourself in a compromised position. When you reach overhead, you could be arching your lower back. When you reach down, you could be arching your lower back. When you reach forward, you could be arching your lower back. So all of those things could lead to lower back pain. I think this happens a lot because not only are we unaware of how to move, but I think a, a big contributor to this is the research is really bad. They'll take anyone with lower back pain in these research studies, they'll just throw them into the group. Oh yeah, like one person, they could have a strained muscle. Another person, they could have a strained ligament. Another person, they could have a herniated disc. They'll just take all those people and they'll just throw them all into a group. So. How, the, how do they know what works and what doesn't? A lot of the research out there isn't very good. It's inconclusive. Lower back pain research isn't good. So they're not really aware of what works, what doesn't work. So if you do have lower back pain, I would just suggest you see someone who knows what they're doing, like an orthopedic physical therapist, take their advice, do, what, do their exercises, and it's going to take a lot of patience and it's going to take a lot of time because if you've been having bad movement patterns, you've been going into bad postures for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years straight, it's going to take a long time to start to lessen that issue, to diminish your pain. It's going to take a long time and it's going to take a lot of patience and diligence on your part. Alright guys, hopefully that explained to you what lower, lower back pain is all about. I hope that helped you out. This has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you like this video, please thumb it up, please comment, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And, I'll see you later. <laughs>